<laughs> in the stand. I mean, that guy that tried to like do those things to her, like rape and shit. That totally deserved. So, that part I don't disagree with. Jay, how do you even begin to try and describe the whirlwind that is the Toronto Raptors? Well, you start with the positive. Last year was the first time in franchise history they were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. And here we are, this team still having a chance to win the Eastern Conference again. Nice pass to get things going. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Uh, actually, Lowry took us to all. Keep back on this for like another defense two weeks. making the ball handler work. Haskell Siakam took us all. Uh, Mark Gasol missed his first. That one goes. So many times you can tell the oh, players gonna finish the cool get stuff gets closed up to his face. That was a look no, of a three point not play. Close, always going in, think you can get more like, at the musical to lay it. It was supposed to be Ooh, happening. I'm not sure if he's for a jelly fam or not. This young player knows how to yeah. play just Smith like, and he finished that shot with some crazy. Yeah, angles. something about for here is supposed to be close for like three weeks or something. Not and loose. What? That's a true like that. it goes the other way. Now push it. Let's attack and transition we don't so we can build this. No, if our school is going to go eventually do more schools. If it is, when you get your prescription, we're gonna you take your medicine and you call it a day. To Levine. One of the bigger cities. And I'm in yes. three and the musical foul. classes. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile mm. on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes yeah. it's like on a, your side. Like I don't know how I'm that in, shot uh, went in. Guitar one. one. Where you learn all the basics. Free throw is good. A three point mm -hmm. play. So, and with that, they go up by three. Exactly. That's something that Ball's I. Balls controlled by Lowry. Is that something they like added to school? I don't remember them having guitar stuff when I was in school. Like there's other other instruments that you could play, but guitar wasn't one they offered. Is there, is there like tuba, drums? Done. He had a flutes or something. Yeah, yeah. flutes, player nets and shit. Like, I, I don't want to play anything. Yeah, like advantage. I want to play a fucking like cool what instrument, like, like a guitar or something. Yeah, and French horn, bass drum, and shit. Yeah, those have been outside. Ball. I just didn't remember the guitar. That would have been a... Oh, he thought that was cool to... It's probably the classic guitar. The guitar is a lot more fun than the At least for me. Yeah, we'll play Pink Panther. Around around the way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. I heard just about the same amount of songs on the guitar in less time than I did on the piano. Done. Yeah. Because piano is, is a harder instrument than the And counted at the rim. Supposedly. Oh man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with I that know. size. But in today's I don't game, know, I've never, I've never really, you know, tempted or had anyone to, to Van Vliet. teach for guitar stuff, so. <laughs> Nothing going here on that I drive. Pink Panther was like something that we had to learn back like in middle school. Find your shoot for Toronto. <laughs> Like if you know how to play a little bit of piano, it will be like a little easier to do with guitar. That's the only thing I know how to play. <laughs> like when I started learning to play guitar, I just went straight into it. Well, and the guitar was still... Tough looking shot there, still gets it to go down. Well, when you play still for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You mm. essentially lose yourself in what the and team it is seems that I it's called unselfish hero. basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than fun. rewarding your yeah. teammates. It seems that I'm glad that I go and finish for two or three uh, except baseline drive. He has a ukulele. Too much down. contact. And free throws coming. It's still <laughs> early. So no real impact on that call. But I forget what he was playing. This one type, so you might want to keep your hands out of his pocket. Oh, and apparently Thunderstruck is only on one string. Really? Yeah. It's just one string. That's crazy. It's on the um the B string. It's Chicago ball. 
so quickly. then is the base and finishes strong. Because Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny the ball. Base guitar has all. They, they have four strings sometimes. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink. They can have a nice show. Yeah, very set man. Stanley Johnson defended by the former Hoya. Yep. Just that one. Damn, they're resetting ranks again. The rank reset. And he's fouled. And he makes a trip to the line. Everybody in the building understands he's been a known target. Looks like they're yep. hitting early. I don't care. First one yeah. goes down. If they kept doing that on Friday, I would not be from the track. Goes two for two. I guess I would because it doesn't matter what level you are. I guess. So, yeah. Uh, I guess if you're Jason, uh, uh, by the way, we got these. What yeah. happened? Why are we on here? To Porter. Thank you. didn't want to play Dead by Daylight. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three point play. No oh, foul. I'm showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Screen? Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. To Lynn. Oh, that's at a Technically, I mean, we still have. Uh, I still can't Two even pay my bills on a Grand Theft Auto. I gotta wait in the lobby no for one hour. So, still I can't call my mechanic. I can't take a shower. I can't four. fucking watch the TV. You don't know what's gonna happen to those. To the rim, lays it up and in. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, Play. but if anything, it says you oh, need okay. to not let him get that close to the rim. We get the boss around the teachers because the teachers are the actors. Nothing going here on that drive. Lynn. <laughs> it would have been, it would have been real fun. Against Porter. I drive to the basket, okay. but the shot rattles around and out, and that's because, how you make um, a difference. Every the shot musical the offense was, takes, uh, make sure that it has a ten as far as degree of difference. Driving right to the basket. It was really good. Drive on the baseline, but a shot stays out, and physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs. Called us in for the meeting at the end of the day yesterday. Second quarter. Uh, we all thought it was going to be canceled because we saw the principal and the vice principal. Mm -hmm. Everyone went from. Hey, I looked around and nobody was smiling. Not a single human soul. Hmm. It means that five we for seven. Old school that equals high percentage. Or musical. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy it. Very much. Stuffs it down Mr. with Stone. authority. He <laughs> was ready Mr. right at the Stone. tip. Stone. What the first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Van Vliet. <laughs> so, did you ever try to sell any of your supply stuff? Uh, no, not yet. I haven't tried. Wide open look, I mean, I've done it once by myself. Would you like to be in the lead? Of recently. course you would, but still, mm -hmm. I like the fact that I was just doing bogging because I needed money. I was like, bro, I mean, I had, I had, I had, I had, I had two, uh, two duplicated cars that Weezy, those cars that Weezy was duplicating. I only got to do it twice before they patched it. And they patched yeah. it yesterday. Like, I, I did, I, yeah, I did it twice, and then I went to go take a shower, I came back, it was already patched. Get yeah, that guy, I don't know if y'all was watching the same video I watched, but the guy found two different ways to do it. So I guess they patched both ways. There's a way to do it with the same stuff, except the hooker. Instead of the hooker, you use a jukebox. And, like an now steal, as the and I did it all the way to the end, but at the end, it's kind of hard to do it. We it. When we were in He'll just drive out of the car. It's supposed to just shelter. launch you out of the garage without the car, and that's how you know you go call your mobile operations unit, and the, and the random car's going to be in there. You call your mechanic to bring it to you, you blow it up, and you just put the car you're going to dupe in there, and it dupes it. And, uh... That's the part I can't get right because it's, it's a timing thing. You have to hit like you have to okay your action to drive out of the garage with the, the elegy and hold the gas at the same time. But if you do it wrong, you'll just drive out. A lot of people say it still works. It's just the timing it's the thing. But I just figured I'll just do fucking Bogdan. Same shit. You know, just get money. Start saving my money for whenever. They had a new update and stuff. 
No, I'll just spin. Takes it right to the rim. I know, I have to do a bunch of stuff if I want my ball to set up. I haven't done like the doomsday or anything. I hope you can do that, man. If you yeah, I gotta get a facility, facility, I think, first, right? Yeah, just buy the cheapest one. Like, the cheapest one, like, honestly, the one I have for it is best because the Bogdan at the end of the setup that we do, like, where the, we drove to the fucking Stromberg, it's all right there down the street. That's the one I want to get, so I'm just right there at it. Yeah, it's right down the street. That's why uh, Weezy has one that's in the middle of the mountain somewhere, and he has to waste $4,000 just to, like, skip the cutscene. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I gotta want to be down the street. I drive myself mm -hmm. there. Use as less money as possible, so you always have a pop, not wasting money. Yeah, no. or just drive. Man, how far yeah. does he have to, if he drives, how far was it? It was far. He does Because that's how Amanda's it. was like six miles we had to travel the other night. Like, and the last time that she did it with me, she like, she landed, but she didn't land. It didn't finish, and she closed her app too early. So. I do it. I do it. I freaking knew it. Just when she was upset, she's like, no, fuck the fuck. And I'm like, you're just mad. You missed up. Don't worry about yeah, she didn't, uh, yeah, it, it just failed it. Like, she still has it, but, you know, we didn't get it. You gotta anything reduce from it. You gotta... Oh, she still has the mission. Yeah, she just... It's like she closed it before she actually finished the mission. So. Yeah, it'll it'll just be like she has to be careful because sometimes they'll make you do all the fucking setup all over. Yeah. But other than that, she's good. She she has to be. Like, it's the green screen. I mean, like you, I always say, wait till you see your character, you see the flash of green, and that's when you fucking let it out. You know, you get out of the app. If you get out maybe a second or a half second after that, you should still be good. Because I did that there. Yeah. What Weezy probably did is that he held the button, it brought up the little side menu, and he put close app, and it went into the yes or no section. He waited too long there. I think. Yeah, I mean, probably the best thing is just to push your PS button and then. Hurry up and close it. Like if you're flying the, the jet and you have to back on it, it's a little bit more tough because you gotta land it, make sure it lands properly, and you hear the doom, and that's when you fucking press the PS button and then exit. And that's enough time. You have enough time all the time. Yeah, that's what I told her. I was like, wait till you hear that, and you know, she was like, because the plane was still like, I seen the wheels were still off the ground, that you know, it no. hadn't like officially landed in the hangar or whatever, you know. Well, then she shouldn't be too <laughs> mad at him if, if you just didn't get the cash. As long as she still has the mission, she should still be good. She was making yeah. it sound like she had to no, do the setup. No, she's just thing. having struggles down in the in the sub. Like, I don't know. That part, I caught on that really easily. Like, It's easy, man. Don't you know where all the enemies are? You're like, yeah, once you, like, I, mean, I did it like twice and I was like, oh, alright, this is. Occasionally, you'll, I, I died last night because I shot a dude and I swear I saw the little blue icon with experience and when they died. Mm -hmm. And then I turned my back and apparently he didn't die, so he was shooting me in the back and uh, when I was intimidating the guy, so I was shooting my gun, so I, the recoil on my controller was, I didn't feel him shooting me in the back, so I just saw my life go down and I died. Like, and when he caught the ball, they knew it. That's why I just tried to do headshot. On them, so that they're down. Yeah. <laughs> it's best to have an auto aim room for that. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I don't know if it's true or not to back out after you die. I just do it because that's all they taught me how to do it. And so I don't want to like risk no fucking my pocket. That's why I told yeah. Amanda, she's like, well, I don't think you have to. I'm like, oh, you probably don't, but I don't want to risk it. Yeah, the one time she did, we didn't back out, and I was like, okay, are you sure you don't want to close? And she was like, no. And, you know, we did, she didn't, and it was fine, but I use, I like that special carbine gun that I have. It has a bunch of rounds in it. I don't mind that gun. I use that, uh, when you've got a terabyte, that combat, uh, MG, or, uh, It'll turn into like a Mark II. It makes it stronger, but it always carries too many bullets. But I have to look at that. I have. I think I have that gun too. It was, like there's one that has a hundred bullets, and there's one that has two hundred bullets. They have kind of the same name. But the one with two hundred bullets is what you want. I mean, how often are you gonna have to switch out two hundred bullets? You know I mean? Yeah, especially if you just like if you use headshots on them, you don't use a bunch of bullets anyway. So. And slams it down. Now, whistle, and Toronto is going to use a timeout as their coaching staff right. wants Here to go. Here in this third quarter, 
mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. I might Lowry something to tonight. Stanley Johnson. My girls just don't get that corona. <laughs> Like I got a Ford is going to. I don't know. I'm going to. with a shot that's no good. You feeling alright, Bunch? It's a marking it. Okay. You said. Yeah, you just sound like you were tired or something. <laughs> I'm not tired too, man. Watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. What are you back out for? Lowry. Oh. Tough mate through traffic. Defenders had no chance on that one. I didn't have That's to all explain. The elite tier. Chicago possession. That pass taken away by Toronto. Oh, sorry. I thought she had sent. Shot from the post, no good. Out. You and got one now. Jay, he was there too late. I don't know yeah. about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Stanley Johnson at the line for two shots. Hasn't missed yet. Misses the first. What a pull. That's Mindy. It's a pick. Pick them. It's a pick. No, he missed on a pair. Yeah, that gas. That fucking gas hit the last moment. I think that's a heck of a thing. Oh, choked on my engine. Give him two points. High percentage. And remember, Ed, they trailed at the halftime. This yeah, I probably have some a couple of chips tonight, but I want to eat Playing with the new zest for life, apparently. What, you ain't hanging out with your girl tonight? No, she hurt her allergies, got her like a little sick. She gets real bad on allergies, too. She's not like actually nice sick or anything, it's just her allergy. She gets real the bad, and she feels like shit, so she just tells her to stay home, dude. They have clearly been the better side so far. Yeah, stay home, Jay, I'll just play Friday. I got Neo 2 today, so I'll play that later. Is whenever you go into the fourth quarter, yeah. it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. You have to play the game with this time to go. I think they'll make it a big game. You can win that game by double digits. You can win your top double. Baked seafood and like this shrimp, two pounds of no, skin, two shells, uh, butterflies, and then the, unselfish yeah, I know what you mean, you and it's, uh, and you make your teammate look uh, like filets of, so I forgot what kind of fish, and you know, and then they're so gonna put, like, smiling, tomato, onion, butter, and all this good stuff, and then put it in the oven, wrap the foil, and set it, steam, and cook like that. Here comes the screen. Four three. Fred Van Vliet locked in on that one. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespect. Bacon bit. Now a steal as the Raptors have it. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Oh, where'd Bones go? Damn it, Bones. <laughs> And a menu of what? That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs are calling it, keep being physical. Keep right. knocking him off balance. Nice finish at the rim. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender. It's good anyway. That person wanted Pinehurst. I don't want to start out the night on Pinehurst. Fred Van Vliet to Ibaka. Rebound taken in by Chicago. F and Q. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epic gimmick of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's <laughs> point. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. <laughs> Trying to cash in deep to there. Won't go. Wow. Goes with the top one. You know, it reminds me of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand. Well, still, he ain't playing shit either. Break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch. 
Hmm. It's gonna be nothing. It's gonna be dead silent. He probably he probably don't even know who we are anymore. Like the heck? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Ron Steele and, and Television Ed. Old school cats. Old school Friday cats. To Gasol. It's rebounded by the Bulls. Young to Zach Levine. Well, I love this name, Television Ed. We killed him once. Just oh, isn't uh, that's uh, that one. That's Ron's part. This type of game needs to Ron be celebrated. Team. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. Probably feels a few times because he's on the list. And you make your teammate look great. Televisionary, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and losing. So when you see these guys, hey, man, hey, hey, he has the list. I know what you say. That's because of the energy that was created the in the past. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Well, you know. <laughs> to Levine. <laughs> Optimus is on a list like 12 oh, times. Shit. I'll be right call. back. I gotta go to game chat one second. They call for me right now. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here comes some changes. The problem is when she switches over to game chat, she doesn't mute her mic first, so she pops over there with her mic already live. You know what I'm saying? Lowry to Ibaka. And then she says something. Chances are they're probably squeakers. See, if I ever go over to game chat, I'll, I'll make sure my shit's muted so that they don't even see that I popped in. Like my microphone doesn't like uh, pop up like that. You know, so I can I can sneak in there listening and sneak back and I can move around out there. That's how I like it. Oh Smith, he got mapped. If you're there. Oh Smith, yeah, you got mapped, Smith. Oh, you probably don't went to the piss and grab a bite of sandwiches. Yeah, I still don't know who I read. The 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 school here in Kentucky. That's See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve Three your energy. You so that's a that long ass time. Always I felt the disturbance in the course. Oh, change the. Oh, you change the name. Break is only two weeks. I know. What are they gonna do? Go two extra weeks in the summer? That's gonna be hell. Wide open cage. Three won't like that at all. Easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch. That was a great over there. I'm pretty sure I'm already dead. I get the map. We were like, Smith, change the map if you can hear us. I was like, oh, he no, probably went to piss no. and go get something no. to eat. Hell no, I was in the kitchen. I was like, he probably <laughs> either went to go piss or go get something to eat. No, I was one of the two. <laughs> looking shot there, still gets it to go down. No, the one that Great I could job hear was. Using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Junie's about to learn today. <sighs> Good look that time, but off the I love how uh, last uh, uh, I love how Wednesday we killed the Firefly dude, Lord Firefly, whatever his name was. Uh, we killed him in front of the uh, Fireboat Town. Certain guys in this league that should be put on. Did we kill him in both fireplaces? I think we killed him in both fireplaces. Yeah, right? but we killed him in both fireplaces. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, there's a shitload of people here at the main house. Right? As they win this one in very good time. Oh no, we, we got it. We got a couple of new trick kills, uh, cool Wednesday. Uh, we got one, uh, uh called, uh, uh, Airborne. Was it Airborne Tommy? That one was crazy. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Uh, uh, that was perfect. The angle that I got that. The opening jump is won by Chicago. Done. Slams it down. Oh, that's a great way to make an opening statement. It's about the team that's able to punch the other team in the mouth first. That's exactly what you want to do if you're the road team. To waiters. Jay, sometimes it's not just the heat that does opponents in in Miami. I've been a victim to this multiple times when we have played the Heat, and I think other franchises from cold cities have been the same. There's a reason why the Miami Heat have such an advantage down here on South Beach. You catch them on an off night, it's rare that teams, opposing teams, are ready to play. Oh, nice find for the basket. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Heat have the basketball. Butler to Waiters.
finishing inside the paint on that one. Let me tell you something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. Count the bucket for two. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one yeah, wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Knock loose. Bulls have it. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know, you're not getting back on deep. Oh, lots of contact there. Still gets it to go. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. Dragic. Rebound taken in by Chicago. To Levine. And scores. Strong take. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Dragic to Butler. Curling inside. Butler, short jumper, won't fall. You see, Ed, this is what the refs need to start calling. The defender hit the shooter right around the waist, which made him lunge into a shot and took away all of his concentration for it. To Young. Cash is in for two. And I get it. I know why Indiana fans love Thaddeus Young. He's that guy that just shows up to work every day and is going to outwork you, outgrind you. They don't make players like that anymore. Butler defended by the former Hoya. Right time, right player. Can't teach height. Down to five, down to four to shoot. For three, tough shot, well defended. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your pass. Whoa, what a finish. Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one. Maybe throw a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. To Butler. Waiters. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. Another possession, they were forced to take a tough shot. This time, they got it to go, but they need to do something different to start creating more open-look opportunities. Miami's got it. Dragic. Plenty of contact. The shot, no good. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also, it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. Baller into the front court. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Slams it down. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Butler against Porter. Jimmy Butler missed his first. That one goes. We talk so much about who are the MVP candidates, but there are other guys who are so valuable to their teams, and Jimmy Butler at the forefront of that list. I have a phrase that I use when I describe players like Jimmy Butler. It's called most valuable mentality. There are certain players that approach the game with a certain mindset every single day that they will do anything, anything possible to win the ball game. He plays with his heart and soul every single possession and every night, and he will leave it on the court if that means he can win the ball game. To the rim, lays it up and in. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Knock loose, he'd get control. to this first quarter. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. It's the Heat with the possession. Hey, 
probing the defense to Butler. Short jumper stays out. And I'm going to gloat about my old team here for a second. Did you know the Bulls are the only NBA franchise to win multiple championships and never lose an NBA final series in their history? 6-0 right now. It helped to have a guy named MJ. But, Jay, think about this. If he's not gone those two seasons, maybe it's eight straight finals wins. Hey, big three right there, big three. A drive by Butler, but his shot won't fall. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. Jimmy Butler. He's three of five. 60% shooting from the field. Can we all just agree that that handle is next level? But that jumper is wet, too. Mm. And the basket good at the rim. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. To Randolph. Short jumper off the mark. Big finish at the rim. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. New blood coming in for both sides. To Randolph. Line drive, the shot won't fall. Bowls with it. Done. And he scores. Jay, he may have taken a big step that time, but they'll count the bucket. It's not a travel if it looks pretty. To Randolph. Missed a wide open look. Done. And look out. Big finish at the rim. That has to feel deflating for the other side. They've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half. Another powerful dunk, but another easy dunk. When are we going to see some defense? He connects. Had all the time in the world. Too easy. No doubt about where that one was headed. Done. Pass stolen by Miami. Oh, yeah. be in here. Be in here. To Waiters. Come up on the switch. Switch. To Randolph. <laughs> Cleans it up. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one. Go over things here in the second quarter. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Subbing in for the Miami Heat. Number done to Young. Tough make through traffic. I'll tell you what. It's impressive to watch a young player this new to the NBA not be afraid to drive to the basket. Goes a long way in establishing your presence in the league. Waiters. Driving right to the basket. Spinning shot. Won't fall. Screen coming. There you go. Way to stay with it. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Levine to Young. Has a chance. Young off the mark. On the follow. Way to stay with it. 
I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Burke with it. His guys down big. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. Again, Ed, if you made it to this level, you're capable of doing things that normal humans can never do, even if you're not known for it. Done. And the finish. Slam dunk. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the past. It's good at the buzzer. Nice finish and more cash in the bank as we hit the break. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at... Fellas, back to you. Miami with the basketball. Butler to Waiters. Screen coming. Through right, through right, through right. Short jumper won't go down. Jimmy Butler for two. Jimmy Butler, he's now four for six. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Trogic into the front court. Down a bundle. Here comes the screen. Dragic to Butler. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Add two points to the board. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Chicago basketball done to Zach Levine. Short jumper misses. Butler. And draws the foul. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. Myers Leonard at the line for two shots. For his career, 82%. Misses the first. And he's able to hit the second after missing that first one. To Levine. Nice pass to get things going. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Butler. They'll get it down to Leonard. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Levine. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. Dragic with the basketball. Looking to make something happen to Butler. Has a look. Wide open look. Won't go. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. It's the Heat with the possession. I'm on deep. I got ball. This is all me. Dragic to Butler. Takes stock of the floor. Jimmy Butler with that shot. He's five for eight. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Done. Stuffs 
pressure down with authority. But did you see the way he was able to do it, Ed? Did you see him constantly probe the defense by maintaining his dribble? Ultimately, if you keep your eyes on all the other defenders, they will lose track of where the ball is. That's where you slip a quick pass in for an easy dime. He throws it down. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. And he knocks it down, Jay. Now the Heat going to use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Dragic to Waiters. To Dragic. Dion Waiters. Small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. And finishes strong. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Dragic to Waiters. it down from mid-range. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. To Zach Levine. Zach Levine! Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. cracks at the line now sometimes when you get up big you get a little careless but attention to detail through the end that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls first try no good miss the second as well Levine buries it into three and in today's game you have to make shots like that Nice work draining it from deep. Deep three at the buzzer. Third quarter comes to an end. It has been all Bulls. The Bulls in possession as we start. Up against Porter. And he missed the free throw. To Waiters. Drove the lane and finished strong at the hoop on that one. Oh, don't see the read. Be the read. Done. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throws good. Add one more to the total. This game... Feels out of reach. Muller to bring it up. He'll run the offense. And count the basket inside. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. It's Chicago ball. Done. Trying to cash in. Done shot. That misses. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. 
You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Butler to Waiters. Fires the three. Can't get the bounce. To Chris Dunn. Nice pass to set things up. And a lot of passers usually have their head on a swivel, but ultimately, either you have a feel for the game or you don't. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. Butler against Porter. From the painted area, won't go down. Done to Young. Jimmy Butler with the block. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. The Bulls take this one as they win this one in very convincing fashion. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.